Believe it or not, there does not currently exist a comprehensive transit plan endorsed by the City Council and all the relevant elements of the City Government in the City of Toronto. And for that matter, it, we, there does not exist such a plan that has in turn been endorsed by our partner governments. As I said earlier on, we're closer than we have been, but we're not there in terms of having that kind of a plan endorsed, endorsed by our own city government and all the elements of it, which include, of course, the TTC and others and the planning department and so on, and in turn then uh, bought into by our partner governments. And that is simply not good enough. The project by project approach is a prescription for exactly what it has produced. The deficit that I made reference to at the beginning, paralysis, inaction, and delay. We should be building constantly and we must move ahead. I said when I was seeking this job that uh, every other city, if you look, and I was in London recently, and of course not only are they in the midst of building Crossrail 1 right now, but when I met the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, he was enthusiastically telling me about Crossrail 2. And Crossrail 1 isn't even running yet, it's well under construction, but they're talking about Crossrail 2. And we're doing a little better at this now, but up until now, we've sort of taken the uh, trouble to build one project, and then we stand and look at it for four or five years and congratulate ourselves and admire it, and really don't get on with building the next one. We've also got to accept the fact that our transit investments will not all be subway focused. We will be investing in various transit, mode, if transit modes, from buses, where we made some additional investment last year, to subways and LRTs. And I'm happy at the fact that the Finch West LRT project is underway now, as of course is the Eglinton project referred to by Mark. Subways, subways, subways is a convenient political slogan, but it is not a realistic, practical, or modern approach to building public transportation in a big and varied and diverse city such as ours. Transit delivery is not about scoring points or winning elections. It's about addressing a growing public transportation crisis in Toronto and in this region. The emphasis has to be on connecting people to jobs and opportunity and doing it in a practical and affordable way and doing it as quickly as possible. And this was the genesis of the Smart Track plan. In addition to Toronto's existing transit lines, several major rail corridors run through the city. And in fact, they've run through the city since long before there was a subway. These corridors presently shuttle people largely from Toronto and our neighboring regions through the provincial GO Transit system. But while they run through Toronto and its neighborhoods, these lines are dramatically underutilized when it comes to helping us serve local residents within the 416 and within the city of Toronto. Smart Track is a plan that I'm moving forward at the city to significantly increase local travel on this regional express rail network. And so it fits very well, and in fact was derived out of the province's expansion of its GO service as they electrify their lines. The Smart Track project will add additional integrated local stations within Toronto. We want our residents to be able to use these lines as they exist today to get across the city with the same speed and ease of a GO Transit commuter. This will supplement the existing subway system and provide relief for our overcrowded network while we work to expand our system and our service. While we plan and build the downtown relief line. The downtown relief line is going to be built, make no question about that but it's a 15 or 12 to 15 year project by anybody's estimate. And while we do that, are we just gonna do what we've done before and sit back and say we're not gonna provide relief for the Young Street Network and we're not gonna provide through these underutilized rail networks the opportunity for people to have more local service inside 416. My answer to that is no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna move ahead with something that uses largely an existing asset and provides that local service starting as soon as possible. Because Smart Track is something that can be done relatively quickly, it can be done for a reasonable cost, and I hope, based on what I've just outlined to you in terms of these existing assets that we have, it also just makes sense.